हेलो एवरीवन लेट्स स्टडी मैट्रिक्स अरेंजमेंट लेट्स गो थ्रू मैट्रिक्स अरेंजमेंट पार्ट वन सो व्हाट इज मैट्रिक्स अरेंजमेंट बेसिकली द डेटा ऑन डिफरेंट पैरामीटर्स आर टू बी मैप्ड विद ईच अदर सो फॉर एग्जांपल लेट्स से थ्री स्टूडेंट्स ए बी एंड सी एंड द फोर स्पोर्ट्स टेनिस हॉकी क्रिकेट एंड फुटबॉल बी लाइक्स टू प्ले टेनिस एंड सी लाइक्स टू प्ले क्रिकेट सो इन दिस मैनर some information will be given about different students who like different sports and probably something else also so we need to make a grid and map student a like this sports and do something else so this is matrix arrangement let's see an example and see how to solve that question so for example seven friends b r k m y t n f study in three different school that is a c and x not more than 3 or less than 2 study in any of the school each one has a favorite fruit among pineapple papaya banana pear mango watermelon sweet lime and papaya not necessarily in that order r studies in school x and likes mango whereas y studies in school a and likes pineapple none in school c likes the fruit pear t studies in the same school as only Y, whereas M does not study in school C. M likes papaya, whereas F likes watermelon. B does not like sweet lime, and only two of them study in school X. So, if you have observed carefully, there are three parameters. One is friend, second is school, and the third is fruit. So, we will have three columns. Let's see how to solve this question step by step. So we have one column for student, another for school, and the next for fruit. Now, in school there are again two columns, tick and cross. What does tick means? It means if B is going to some school, then we'll write down under tick column. If the students are not going to some school, then we'll write down the cross column. And similarly for fruit also. The first statement: R studies in school X and likes mango. So R with school will write down X, and in fruits will write down mango. Next statement: Y studies in school A and likes pineapple. So with Y, school A and fruit is pineapple. Now you may wonder what is that red one color two and correct? So basically, it is just for your reference that the one wherever there is a suffix one it is the first thing that we are filling in the table two a and pineapple comes second in the table and hence we have written suffix two over there let's move ahead now in school c likes the fruit pear so i don't know who goes to school c so this information will write outside the table and we'll use in future so c does not like fruit pear T studies in the same school as only Y. So T study in school A because Y is studying in school A. Now what does only Y means? Apart from Y and T, no one else study in school A. And hence for rest all of them, we'll write down A in cross column. The next statement: M does not study in school C. So against M cross, we'll have C. Now M does not study in A and C, which means M has to study in school X. M likes papaya, whereas F likes watermelon. So we have M as papaya and F as watermelon. Next statement: B does not like sweet lime. So B, beside cross, we have sweet lime. Now, only two of them study in school X, and as you see. R and M are two of them who are studying in school X, and also Y and T are the only two persons studying in school A, which means the remaining three B, K, and F has to study in school C. Now, there is one information. Yes, the one who study in school C does not like fruit pear. Correct. So, side cross column, we'll write down pear. So B and K does not like pear. There is only one student left. That is T, which means T has to like pear. 
Now among B and K, B do not like sweet lime, which means K should like sweet lime. And the only fruit left is banana, which means B like banana. So this is my complete grid. Let's see the questions. First one of them, which fruit does T like? So which fruit T likes? Pear. Second question, which fruit does B like? So B likes banana. Third question, which is the complete list of people who is studying in school A? So who study in school A? Y and T. Fourth question, which is the complete list of people who are F's colleague in his school? So F is studying in school C. Who else is studying in school C? B and K. So my answer will be B and K. Who likes sweet lime? So who likes sweet lime? It's K. Clear everyone? Okay. Thank you very much.